Hey guys, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Today's video lesson for ICT Computer Hardware Servicing 10 is all about Diagnosis and Identification of Faulty System. Diagnosis and Identification of Faulty System More than 70% of all computer problems are related to cabling and connections. Ensure all cables are connected and connected firmly. IDE and floppy ribbon cables and power cables can often go loose. Ensure microprocessor, memory modules, and adapters such as video card are inserted correctly and do not pop up due to vibration. Problem number one. System has no power at all. Power light does not illuminate. Fan inside the power supply does not turn on. And indicator light on keyboard does not turn on. Here are some of the probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number two, system is inoperative. Keyboard lights are on. Power indicator lights are light and hard drive is spinning. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number three. System does not boot from hard disk drive, but can be booted from floppy disk drive. Here are some of the probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 4. System only boots from floppy disk. Hard disk can be read and application can be used, but booting from hard disk is impossible. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 5. Error message reading sector not found or other error messages indicators that certain data is not allowed to be retrieved. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 6. This formatted on IBM PS2 will not operate with this system. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 7. After installing an expansion card, network card, tape, drive card, etc., the system no longer works properly. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 8. Screen message says invalid configuration or CMOS failure. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 9. Screen is blank. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 10. System does not boot from hard disk drive but can be booted from floppy disk drive. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do.
Problem 11. Memory Module Problem Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 12. Screen goes blank periodically. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem 13. Keyboard failure. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem 14. No color on screen. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 15. Floppy drive light stays on. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 16, Error Reading Drive A. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 17, Windows System Drive Failure. Here are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 18, Cannot boot system after installing second hard drive. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 19. Missing operating system on hard drive. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 20. Certain keys do not function. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Problem number 21. Keyboard is long. No keys function. There are some probable cause, diagnosis, and solution you can do. Answer the following activity. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons and tutorials updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Muli, I'm Sir O, your teacher on the go. Adios, amigos!